record. So I think I, I am recording now. Okay, well, there you go. Well, I don't long. know where it's going to be saved at the end. But anyway. Yeah, no, I, but I can see the record symbol in the corner, so I know it's working. Okay. Um, so I'm the start from the ground floor. Yeah. From the option, uh, this one is your favorite, correct? Yeah, I feel it's the most practical, and I feel that it's, I don't know, I think it's a nice shape, and I haven't thought of it before either, so it's nice. I think that um, doing that, you have a very nice like layout and you divide the space in a way that you have like the kitchen, which is, is still an open space, but it's very it's clear where, it's, where the kitchen is, mm. and where like the, the dining and living room are. Exactly. But one thing that I want to change over mm -hmm. is where the, I want to swap over the utility in the toilet. Okay, that's fine. Something I wanted to propose, but let me take. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't want the opening of the toilet to be facing the kitchen. Okay. I'd rather just have the smaller bar, the smaller toilet and the bigger utility as well, because then I could put like the hoover and, and all those. Do you want a sink in the utility? Um, I mean... I don't know. I guess I guess people need. Do you really yes. need to have a sink? You, you uh, do, right? I don't know. The clients I don't ask for one. Huh? A lot of a lot of clients they ask for a sink. So probably. Why? Why? What do you do with the the, the utility? <laughs> you um, know I me. Mean? This might even my first time like having my own house. I'm like, mm, utility room. What? What do I? I know it has obviously the washer and dryer, but why does it need a sink? So in a, in, a, in a utility, you'd have your little washer dryer. So like in my utility at home here, um, mm. it's like that's where, you, you know, say if you're going to you know, just scrub some old shoes or stuff, you just go oh, into yeah. rather than into your main kitchen where it's all nice and pristine, oh, my utility oh, is just for like the, the crap. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, what? okay. Stuff like then, that. Yes. I do need a basin. Yeah. Now, say if you were going to do, do washing some clothes and you, there were some stains, you would wash it in your sink, the pre-wash, then put it in the um, the, the washing. Yeah. Sink. Got it. Got it. All right. So yes, sink okay. is needed. <laughs> so then, um, I'm going to do something because I, I'm, I think that it's not recording the right um, screen. So I stop share and I share again the other screen. Okay. Oh, I forgot about my background. I haven't seen. What it. is that background? What is it? It's from RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, uh -huh. it's just the workroom from RuPaul's Drag Race. It's one of my uh, favorite. So I'm just like, mm. adds a little bit of color to my life. It does. <laughs> okay. So I think that now, fine. Um, in terms of kitchen, mm. this is something you can decide like later because it's not actually um it's not part of the planning application so the layout can be decided late in, like mm. after the planning permission and we will approach a, a kitchen company so mm -hmm. i at the moment i think that uh, it's nice to have a um, double height uh, units on the wall yeah and I agree. I hope, but again, this is something you can change anytime. Yeah, but I, I like it like that. I would just make that maybe the island slightly longer. Slightly longer, so, so that way. With this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. maybe just slightly longer, and then that way it's not so like cramps around the the mm hob. -hmm. But yeah. apart from that, I I really like the the layout of this one. Great. Uh, so. One sorry, one thing. Sorry, one other thing that I did want to change though is the position of the skylight because I want it to. Oh, but maybe we'll get to that later because at the moment it's like more towards the garden, but I think it should be more towards the kitchen because I don't know. You guys can tell me, but when you have a skylight over the area where the TV and the the settee and stuff is, don't you think that a the sun will bleach the sofa, and b will it not create a glare on the TV? 
Mm. Possibly, but you know, you're going to have such, you're going to have like all that back end of the house, all glass anyway, aren't you? So there's going to be a lot of glare. So you're going to have to get some, some kind of blinds. You can have blinds built into the glass if you wanted that, or have, mm. um, you know, maybe an electric shutter which pull the pulls the blinds across. Mm. Because do you think? But do you think it should be in that location, or no, do you think it should be in the middle or in the back? So we have, we have not. Mm opening or, or windows here yeah. so that's why i thought to bring that back yeah or probably so i'm um, we need first to to see if uh, the council will accept the six meter extension your neighbor mm -hmm. are you and they have i'm going to show you on a 3d um okay one second Oh, this is so cool. So this is your neighbor extension, which is... Oh, this is my neighbor's house, yeah? Yeah. So, <laughs> one sec, sorry. I think I have a better view. Okay. So this is your neighbor house. Okay. This is the neighbor to the left or to the yeah. right? To the left, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 3.5 for meter extension. Mm. So your garden is, is big, so I think six meter will be accepted, but... Because, can I ask you a question as well? Because basically, that one of my neighbours across the road has a six meter extension, but okay. do you know, they, they have one already. Do you know the number? Mm, I'd need to learn. I'd need, I, I don't know. I think, but it's... Uh, uh, it's we go and Google it. Yeah, because he, I've been to, I went in their house. I, I've been in oh, there. Okay, it's fine. Then. Yeah. Yeah, because and when I first, even before I bought the house, when we were going through the process, I was very, I made sure that I had a good relationship with okay. the previous owners. And so they introduced me to the neighbours who had it, had the extension mm -hmm. and he has the full six metre extension. Okay, so it should be fine. Which he built himself with his bare hand, by the way, which took him like four <laughs> years or something. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. He said that he learned off of YouTube how to build his extension. No way. And <laughs> yes, he built it by himself, guys. And in between building it, he had a heart bypass and he had to take a break. He literally built it with bare hands. Very impressive, I must say. Wow. It's very crooked and like the floor and everything is completely uneven and everything. But I hats off to him for building it himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm going to have a look on the planning portal because it is definitely not in um, number... Uh, let me have a look. I think it's I, not next to. It's not on my side. It's got opposite house. Yeah. Opposite house. Okay, that's fine. I will have a look at the planning portal then. And okay, let me go back to one second. Mm. Yeah, here. So we can have if it's six meters. Mm. We can have two skylights one here and one here maybe slightly smaller like 1.5 yeah maybe maybe that sounds quite nice but then here's my mm -hmm. question well will your name will my neighbors be able to look into the skylights that was also <laughs> do you know what i mean because how much can someone really see through, through um, a, into the skylight into your house they never be able to, your neighbors would never if it's in that position there they'd never be able to look in the yeah, angle, right. The, the angle will be too steep. They'll be looking right through. Okay. You won't be able to see. And you can get some great blinds as well. So that's going to be, if the, if the, if the skylight's going to be a flat skylight, is that what it's going to be? Is it a flat one? Yes. There will be yeah. Blinds. You can have like, a, a, as I said, an le electric blind. So in the evening, if you want all the secure, you have an electric blind and literally mm -hmm. it just cuts across. So no one will be able to see in at all. So you've got mm. some accuracy from, there, from the back. And from the side. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Then, uh, okay, we can uh, always apply for two skylights. So you have like the maximum, um, oh. and then you can decide if you want just one or two. Okay. But we have planning permission for for both. 
And in terms of what happened here, mm -hmm. I was thinking actually to do something like that. Let me see if I can align. No white, maybe. <laughs> okay. So you want, you want to have, when you go inside, you want to see the garden. So I put this opening in line with, mm -hmm. and the other one would be just in line with this. Got that you. Way. That's nice. And, and so is this, and sorry, is that the window, is that a window seat or just, uh, because I really do want to do the window seat still, but do you think it just doesn't work? You uh, guys need no, for it me. it can work. So I've been, um, let me show you again the, yeah so i put like a kind of off seat at the moment oh yeah 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 okay but yeah I can you, want, of... you want maybe if he's if you have a seat here you can decide if you want like full height or just literally a yeah. window I probably wouldn't have a full height bit of glass there because it it will it will it will show the joinery where the seat is. Correct. Yeah. Maybe just because I one. but when I say window seat though, you know which one I'm talking about, the one where it comes out a little bit. Oh yeah, I see. That is is the one you 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 have sent something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the box. Yeah, one. it can be. It can be. Yes, it can be. I try. I do that in 3D and show to you how it looks like. And. Which is something, let me see if I, it should be the one you, you have sent, which is this one. It's a, it's a like something. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like that one, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We can do something like that. It's like a box. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. And I feel like it adds even more, like it's a nice area to be able to sit and still get a bit of light. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -mm, I wanted to show you some options for dev wall before like doing a 3D. I mean, yeah, 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 please. Because I'm. that's the thing. Oh, trust me, you already know I'm on Pinterest going crazy trying to find different types of things uh -huh. for the wall. Because I like this, this is nice. So this is a kind of a low level cabin with a fireplace and then mm -hmm. it comes the, the same surface, it can become the seat going into the window. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. That's nice. I really like that. And I think there would be a TV as well incorporated there. So yeah. Ooh, let me see. Uh, Mm -mm, let me see, there was something else. Yeah, because I've been looking at that too. That's lovely. That's nice. That's nice. Mm. So it can be actually anything. It can be. I know, there's so many options. It's actually crazy. Let me see. I, I was, I think it needs to be something very like minimal with this fireplace and a wall for uh, the tv yeah and the seating yeah and the yeah week. again and i, I definitely do some um 3d of that so i can show you how it will look like because yeah. I don't know if i look here it's just it's just like the plain yeah, kind of like, idea yeah i want I, I wanted first to see if those options i show you is something that you would consider and yeah, I love it. It looks so good. No, yeah, okay, this one is the option. Okay, fine. So, again, it will be a kind of window with, uh, sorry, um, TV maybe here, and then the fireplace, and then the seating going through into the window. Mm, that's nice. Okay. Because and then this can be a cupboard as well, right? Like storage. This yeah. Underneath. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. It can be. Yeah. Great. Yeah, because that wall, I definitely, I'm open to whatever. I'm open to whatever idea. I just know I want to have a fireplace and I want to have a TV, and I want to be able to store stuff. I don't really have any sort of. Um, okay. I'm very open. 
So that, 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 that this part would be obviously bespoke joinery. Yep, yep, all, I know. All the wall, the fireplace, and then the, the window seat. Yeah. And, okay, yeah. Obviously, don't look at the material at the moment. It would just. Yeah, 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 yeah. So those are the full high cabinet, and this is the island, which is a little bit bigger with the hob and the sink on this wall. And we go out. And we have the window seats, mm. which will be uh, like the glass box and a bifold door here. Opening mm. way. Okay. So, and then how many, so how many panels will it be? Three, right? Uh, I think so. I think yeah. three should be, should be enough. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then. Okay, let me go back to the plants. So then we go upstairs and uh, from your lookbook, I know that you want something. With... So it, those type of storage underneath the stairs and yeah. glass balustrade. Again, I will show you, I will show all this on 3D. Mm. And let's go upstairs. Plants here. Okay, perfect. So we have the bathroom first. Yes, and to note about the bathroom, because I'm changing the windows, how I would like it to be is the toilet in the corner underneath the little window. And then I want to just have one big window. I don't want to have that little window anymore. I just want to have one window in the bathroom. Okay, this is something that needs to be. So just one window, which would be probably in the middle or something like that. It would be something like that. One second. Probably something like that. What do you think? Yeah. And then the toilet to be moved into the corner a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So this would be moved here. One window, and the the wash basin will be here or on this wall. Um, I I like it where it is because okay. it needs to have a mirror. And you, you will have. Oh mirror. yeah, and also no no no, I've done, you've done it. Sorry, it's wrong. I just realised what you're saying. No, the toilet. I want to be where that little underneath where that little window is, and then I want to have a bigger window in between the toilet and the bathtub. So the so the window will be something like that. Yeah, and these would be moved. Yeah, the toilet would be in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be moved there, okay. and then the window. Yeah, in the middle. Yes, yes. That's more okay. my vibe. Fine. Just I'm just taking some notes. Okay. Perfect. And so walking closet. And, and bedroom. So for the wardrobe, I sent these last week. And yeah, this is great. I like everything to do with the okay. wardrobe. Yeah. And so we have the mirror here, which will be a slide. Mm -hmm. And yep. the side is the sliding wall. So well, yeah. And I, I wanted to ask you see, um, in elevation two, what is the, the kind of thing that's in the bottom right? that thingy what is that yeah 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 that what okay. is that meant to be so we I have is, it. is the section of this so uh, we have this right this right here they needs to be supported mm -hmm. in the middle because it's too long yeah, yeah oh right 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 I'm, okay, with so I'm with you again it doesn't need to be like that so the joinery company can propose anything but obviously they will they will tell you that we need like a post or something to support the right Okay, I understand now though. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what it was. And uh, for for the bedroom is that. Um, so we can have, you want a full high mirror here? Yeah, because- At the same time, yeah, so I think you should use like these as storage. 
yeah i want it to be storage and here's my thing as well i still wanted to be able to have a bedside table like next to the bed so maybe it's like the other two squares and not the first one that's storage or maybe it can be storage but i maybe from the side i don't know i don't know but i know that i definitely need bedside table because um, when i'm drinking my drinks at you, night um, i need to be able to then we have done i'm going to show you something we have done for a client uh, I'm, go I'm showing her Moreland. Um, so this client, so we did something like that. And they had the bedside table. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, because I'll, I'll just buy separate bedside tables. I don't want it to be made into it, okay. I think. Ah, okay, so what if we do are freestanding? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that aspect. And I just, all these, I, this is nice too. And all these, it would be mirror. But yeah. it, can, it can be um, like those looks like they are um, boiserie, so like just a wood panel, but actually it's storage. Yeah, that's so nice. So it can be mirror instead, mirror, mirror, and just a freestanding bedside table in front. In front. Yeah. So, like three sliding mirrors, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, as long as as long as it's practical, and I feel like I like the idea of using mirrors because mirrors make the space feel bigger. Yes. Yes. You know. What, Again, size oh. what size bed have you got? Is it going to be like a super king or something? Is it? Uh, it's a king. No, it's, it's, it's going to be king. It's going to be king. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, because wait, sorry, I know this sounds like a dumb question, but king size bed is bigger than queen, or is queen size bigger than king? No, king is bigger than than queen. That's what I said. Thank you. Yeah, like people are trying to make me sound like feel like I'm crazy. I'm like, uh, why would they make the queen one bigger? And like from like literally, you got, you got king, you got super, then you got super king. Yeah, exactly. But still, queen is still smaller than a king. I'm like, guys, since when have they ever made the woman bigger than the man? And like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, hundred percent. I think, yeah, those are those are the dimensions. So we have. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, I need that I'm big old king. King. Yeah, and then it, it can be a super king, but it's very, very, very big. No, I don't need that. Let's. Yeah, I'm 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 good off of the the regular. No, I've, I've used a king, uh, which uh, UK size is different actually the European. Oh really? Yes. Smaller or bigger? Um, bigger. Mm, interesting. Size is two meter, and super. King, yeah. Yeah. Two meter. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. What I've, I've used. And Perfect. so again, what I, I would do here is a view showing like how look with the mirror, the sliding mirrors and the bed and uh, a freestanding uh, bedside table. And then another mm. view here looking at this part. Which yeah, but this mirror doesn't have to be this big. That's what I was going to say. I want it to be like um, uh, something like was Dead, yeah 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 more like those pictures where it's like narrower and okay. yeah exactly and then i wanted to have some kind of desk thingy i guess okay for me to, be able to do my makeup and also double up as storage but again open to how that can look because as you can see they're all very different in the sense that like some of them if you look at the the bottom right one it's two separate so the desk is one thing and then the storage under the tv is another but then if you look at the one that's on the right it's just the whole thing is one um, i'm open to it i'm okay. i'm open to whatever really okay yeah so but definitely it, it would be both desk and storage yeah yeah i think so perfect okay great so what I will do now is um, produce the rest of the drawings so that I have already, I have already like a section elevation, which is what we need for, for planning. Okay. And once 
we have uh, all uh, the drawings for planning. We can go ahead with the planning application and then we can concentrate on like the, in, the inside look. Yeah, 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 all exactly. All the things. But uh, by uh, next week, I should have all the drawings for planning and all the, all, all the other documents and the planning application ready. Great. That sounds great. And then I will focus on the fireplace, the sliding mirrors in the bedroom and things like that. Okay. So what we need for the uppers, because that's what we're going to start, obviously, uh, yes, going yes, in the breaths. And it's, it's, going to take, it's not going to take as much time at all to start on the first fix, uh, electrical and plumbing on the uppers. So we need some idea of where the electrical points are going to be and also lighting. Because I see on those drawings, there's going to, there could be some like hidden lighting, some coffered lighting in the joinery, um, bedside lighting. Oh, um, yes, is mm, Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, because what I wanted to ask you guys as well is, you know, when... Do, 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 Hold on. You know when you have that feature where in the ceiling, it's like, you know when you have spotlights, you already have to lower the ceiling, but you know when they cut out the middle of it and then there's a light, because you've done it in one of the houses before. Coffered but lighting. I, like, so what's it's it called? Coffered lighting. So it's like strips of LED hidden within the plaster. Yes. Yes. So in some you of your images, a... you've got that kind of stuff. Yeah, because I saw that you guys have done it in the bar in a bathroom before that's on your website but i definitely wanted to see if it was possible to do that maybe in the walk-in but i just want to know just different options and like how just yeah i just want to know different options really yeah so we got plenty for the for the design kind of thing you've got plenty of time yeah, yeah exactly but that uh, next week it's gonna not gonna take us much time at all to get on to first fix electrical and plumbing so that is when yeah. we need to know where things are going to end up and where, mm -hmm. what we don't want to do, we don't want to put first fix in and then Needs do to be some more for, yeah. and we've got to damage the plaster and redecorate and all the rest of it. So it's going to, yeah. it ain't going to take us much time at all to get your uppers ready. Um, Great. One question, who is um, for the joinery in the working closet? Uh, do you have a company who is doing the um, work? Well, this is what I also wanted to ask because obviously like the joinery is, is obviously not included in the quote. So I've just been speaking to different people, but I, I just want to make sure that I pick a good person. I just want to make sure I pick someone good. Um, so any suggestions um, so I can okay. get a quote, it would be great. Obviously. Because at right now I'm speaking to only, I've, I've spoken, I have two different people, but I don't know whether they're good or not, you know, so. Personally, so I, I would like let maybe you know Susanna. She deals with lots of joinery yeah, companies. Yeah, I can definitely. And the material uh, we're not going to be using expensive materials. Can probably be sprayed MDF or something. Yeah, but, exactly that. Exactly. So I would let us take care of all that because obviously getting a third party in because uh, is uh, I need to know who is doing the joinery to do the internal layout, the um, lighting layout. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know if you guys want to suggest okay. people because the person has quoted me, but the thing is the quote that I got was based off of, again, not really, it was not based off of thin air, but they came and obviously I hadn't, I didn't have the design layout done. So it was just like a rough estimate based off of the, the file that I sent you. Now that I have a bit more of an idea, I guess I can ask them for a quote on that, but I mu I'd much prefer if it's someone that you've worked with before. Okay, that's fine. So and uh, now we talk about that as well. Great, fine. So I start to do the planning drawings and at the same mm -hmm. time uh, I I sketch by end of, of today a layout for the lighting and center. Okay. So if you're happy, then mm. I can start like to draw this property for Nick uh, to start the works on the first floor. Sounds really good. Okay, fine. Great. All right. Then. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Thanks everybody. Thanks so much.
Uh, yes, maybe we, we, do, we have a little one of these calls every week. You know, let's have yeah. a little design yeah, meeting. Have another one and next we week. the content to part, paint the picture about what we're up to. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. It'll be really good. Um, and um, yeah, and if you need to speak to Susanna, just pick up the phone or yeah. chat mm. as much as you want. Thank you, guys. And is it possible? Can I view this? Can I have the, the link to this to show Lance as well? The, yes, the... I'm, going, I'm going to send you the link now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so oh, much. Perfect. Oh, Thanks. Have a good day, everybody. You guys. Bye. Bye.